Right now at six, stepping down. UW Lacrosse's chancellor will be leaving after 17 years with the university. And fighting overdose deaths. A medication that can revive people from overdoses in minutes is hitting shelves next week. Watching WKDT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Ken Kozarowski. UW Lacrosse's chancellor is stepping down right as a new academic year is set to begin. Joe Gao made the announcement today that he intends to step down as UWL's chancellor. He has been in that role for almost 17 years and is the longest serving chancellor in the university's history. He says as he makes this decision, the university would not be as successful as it is without the strong faculty and staff around him. I have been very fortunate to have just a, a team that is second to none. You know, a great provost, a great um, chief business officer, uh, outstanding student affairs. The person who follows me will have a great team on board, and that's really important. Gao says he will be stepping down at the end of this school year. And then after a year on sabbatical, he will return to lacrosse as a media teacher. Two Coon Valley residents face federal charges for operating a drug house. 40-year-old Julia Lloyd and 33-year-old Stanley Holty are both charged with conspiring to distribute meth and fentanyl. Vernon County Sheriff's Office arrested the two of them in June. And between Holty's car and Lloyd's house, officers found five pounds of meth 31 grams of fentanyl, and about $58,000 cash. Agencies in Vernon County, La Crosse, Campbell, Onalaska, and even the DEA combined to uncover the alleged drug conspiracy. If convicted, they both face a maximum of life in federal prison for the drug possession, plus another 20 for maintaining a drug house. The man accused of sexually assaulting an underage girl pleaded no contest in La Crosse County Court today. According to the criminal complaint, a girl told La Crosse police that she shared messages and nude photos with then 18-year-old Tanner Keel through social media. The two agreed to meet in June of 2021. The girl said the two entered Keel's vehicle where he forced her into unwanted sexual acts and prevented her from getting out of the car. In court, Keel agreed to a diversion agreement. Keel pleads no contest to second degree sexual assault with use of force and felony charges of child enticement and false imprisonment are dropped. Keel is required to pay $4,700 in restitution, complete a psych psychosexual evaluation and sex offender treatment. State Senator Brad Paff is seeking re-election in 2024. The Onalaska Democrat will run again for the 32nd Senate District. That's the seat he won in 2020 after beating Republican Dan Kopenke by just about 600 votes. Last fall, Paff ran for Wisconsin's 3rd Congressional District against Republican Derek Van Orden and lost despite an endorsement from longtime Congressman Ron Kind. Now, Paff's announcement also answers questions about whether he'd run again for the U.S. House of Representatives. Paff and other Democrats are hosting a corn roast at the La Crosse County Fairgrounds right now until 9. So we'll be hearing from Paff coming up tonight at 10. A good day for a corn roast or a day to just be outside in general. Let's bring in First Warren Meteorologist Bill Grawl for the latest check of our forecast. Bill? That's right, Ken. A beautiful day for outdoor activities. Pleasant temperatures in the 70s and very low humidity as well. And of course, lots of sunshine. So 78, the official high out at the La Crosse Airport, 76 in Eau Claire, 77 in Winona and Black River Falls, 75 in Viroqua and 78 in Prairie du Chien. So that was below average by only three degrees, but uh, only the 10th day with a below average high temperature out at the La Crosse Airport this month of August. There is that uh, sunny sky and it's been that way the better part of the day. And you can see the uh, cloudless sky all across the tri-state area. Current temperatures generally close to those highs, 76 in Eau Claire, 78 in La Crosse, 74 in Viroqua, and 77 in Prairie du Chien. Another windows open night, clear, comfortable, lows in the 40s to lower 50s, right around 53 in La Crosse, and a lot of bright moonlight. Second full moon of the month, that's why it's called a blue moon. So no, we're not talking the ice cream or the beer or the song, it's just a nickname given to the full moon if you have two in the same month. Get ready for another heat wave. I'll have the details coming up. Bill Grawl dropping knowledge. Thanks, Bill. In other news today, fentanyl is the leading cause of death for Wisconsinites aged 25 to 54. That's according to a recent report from Forward Analytics. And the report found that in 2020, 
Fentanyl-related deaths outpaced the second leading cause of death, car accidents, by more than two and a half times. And that has health officials sounding the alarm about an epidemic that was accelerated by the COVID pandemic. Dr. Chris Eberline is an emergency medicine physician over at Gunderson Health System. He says sim systems like Gunderson play a vital role in stemming the tide of fentanyl use, but he says providers can't do it alone. Everyone's got to play their role. Government, communities, health systems, schools, uh, law enforcement. Um, we, we really have to continue to work together to, to accomplish what we want to see is a uh, true reduction, ultimate zero deaths from opioid overdoses, um, but it's going to take a long time to get there. Dr. Eberline adds that the good news is the stigma surrounding addiction is lessening. He says more people are realizing it's a disease and that a person needs to be treated like a patient rather than an addict. And a new development in fighting overdose deaths. Narcan, which can revive a person from an opioid overdose within minutes, will be sold in retail stores and online. Manufacturers of the medicine say it could be available as soon as next week. Now, fentanyl is a synthetic opioid drug, so the increased availability of Narcan would likely help lower the amount of fentanyl overdoses. Narcan will go for around $45 a carton, which will have two doses. Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and CVS will be carrying the medicine. The Toma VA Medical Center is looking to hire more nurses. Now, this comes as medical facilities across the nation are having trouble finding nurses. The Medical Center hosted a hiring fair today to promote its search. It's looking for registered nurses, licensed practical nurses, and nursing assistants. Those interested in working at the VA could apply at the fair, and they're also able to tour the facilities. Nurse Executive Natalie Hackbarth says there are openings in many departments. Um, we have openings for nurses in our long-term care units. Um, we have hospice unit, we have a rehab unit, we have a dementia unit, so um, lots of different areas of expertise for nurses to be able to work in outpatient clinics, um, community care, things like that. Now, the fair ran until this evening around 5, so if you weren't able to make it today, you'll be able to find more information about the medical center and its facilities with some links we've posted on our website. Students in Eau Claire are heading back to school on Friday, but how some will get there is going to be different this year because the district is facing a bus shortage. During the Labor Day sale at Home Furniture, get up to an extra 10% off sale prices, like this Woodsman dining set for just $10.79. Plus, get free shipping. The Labor Day sale, going on now at Home Furniture. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther, tow more, and bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LT Turbo Max pickups or current Chevy owners get 6,600 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Visit hometownchevy.com. Blaine's Farm and Fleet's Labor Day sale is going on now, featuring unbeatable deals on fall essentials for your home, work, and vehicles. Like all Skechers footwear, buy one, get one half price. Save 20% on Carhartt denim pants for the whole family. And these Blaine's brand candies, three for six bucks. Plus, when your car's in the shop, get 10% off in-store purchases with $100 or more spent on tire and auto service. Tires and batteries, trust and care. A Blaine's Farm and Fleet promise since 1955. To everyone who's hungry for something special. Culver's is the place for us. Hi, what can I make fresh for you today? It's nice being greeted by people who are glad to see you. And I appreciate that they use real ingredients like fresh beef and Wisconsin cheese. The frozen custard is so fresh and creamy, it tastes like it was made just for us. It's our pleasure. Just spending time with family, that's what mealtime at Culver's is all about. From Wisconsin with love. What a delicious! It's patio closeout time at Home Seasonal Concepts. Get up to 50% off regular prices on patio sets, wicker, fire tables, and more. Like this Baja Point wicker patio set for just $11.97. Patio closeout. Now at Home Seasonal Concepts. Three thousand eagles are flocking to lacrosse this week. And I'm not talking about the actual bird. It's UWL students. 
Today is the first day of on-campus move-in for UWL, and those designated move-in days will last until Monday the 4th. During that time, a few streets near campus will be shut down to make moving in easier for the students and families. Traffic around campus is also expected to increase because of this, so be sure to add extra time to your commute if you drive by campus. UWL starts fall classes on Tuesday. Students in Eau Claire are heading back to class on Friday, but how they're getting there is a bit tricky. The district is facing a bus driver shortage. News now's Jeremy Wall has more. We, we've always had a shortage. For Eau Claire student transit, being short staffed is nothing new. We have anywhere from about 115 to 125 drivers on any given day. While that may sound like a lot, for a district as big as Eau Claire, it's barely enough to get by, especially when you consider that a large percentage of those drivers are charter operators only, meaning they only drive for special events like field trips and football games. The result for students could be longer wait times getting to and from school. We've seen it nationally where it took a long time to get to school because they had to run double runs. General Manager Marty Klukas believes it's a hangover from the pandemic. At the start of the school year last year, uh, we noticed uh, we were not getting the people through the door. And I think that part of it was they just didn't want to be exposed to the children. Regardless of what caused the shortage, he's focused on finding the solution. And he has a few tricks up his sleeve. He called folks that hadn't worked for us for a while and uh, said, hey, are you interested in coming back? We're a smaller community. We're not a big city and we have great relationships with our drivers and our monitors. So we've been able to, in some cases, coax some of those retirees back into the, into the bus driving and monitoring world. One of them is Jill Raboff, a former driver. I am back to my former routes that I used to drive. I am also taking on two new routes. A driver for 10 years, when the opportunity came knocking on her door, Radloff couldn't turn it down. I believe in this company. They've been very good to me. And, you know, it's give and take. I've been good to them, too. And I want, I'm ready to be back in the seat. I've missed it a lot. They're also training new drivers, starting out at more than $17 an hour, and hoping to get them on the streets as soon as possible. But they can make a difference. Right? They can step up to the plate. They can come join the teams. You know, our local communities need them. We need you. In Eau Claire, Jeremy Wall, News 8 Now. Anyone looking to become a bus driver can head to our website or free to download app for more information. Still ahead, you could win money for naming a fish. The person who comes up with the best name for a new art installation in Onalaska will walk home with cash. And I'm meteorologist Bill Grawl. A beautiful evening for outdoor plans, but another heat wave is on the way. I'll time it out for you with my eight-day forecast after the break. Dr. Mehta knows pain. Oftentimes, I see patients with pain in their knees, their hips, their back, and it's actually coming from their feet. Her suggestion? It's as easy as going into a good feet store. Come in for your free arch support fitting. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Now get 3.9% financing for 60 months, plus 3,500 in total savings on Ford F-150 XLT Super Crew. Only at your local Northland Ford dealers. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. 
This isn't a discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Whatever you were thinking, think bigger. It's the King Furniture Labor Day Sale. Bigger selection and bigger discounts. Get up to 60% off the biggest names in furniture and 0% financing. Whoa, now that's big. Shop our huge inventory of in-stock furniture and have it in your home quick with free delivery. You won't want to miss this. It's the Labor Day Sale going on now at King Furniture. To win multiple NASCAR championships, you gotta have the best support, including my arch support specialist at the Good Feet Store. How's that back and knee pain doing? It's all gone. Yeah, my balance is better. See how we can help you too with a free fitting. At the Good Feet Store. Expect more from News 8 Now. Thanks for watching. A new art installation in Onalaska needs a name. The Onalaska Parks and Rec Department has partnered with the Onalaska Art Keepers to build a new interactive art installation, a rocking sunfish. That fish is located at Great River Landing. People can sit on the fish and rock it back and forth. The artist who painted the sunfish says that this is a piece that both kids and adults can enjoy. She was inspired by rocking horses painted in a similar manner overseas. We really just wanted something really bright that you would see when you drove by. Um, and I just like lots of patterns and things like that, so that's kind of how it all morphed together. Um, and Kathy um, Edwards helped me paint. Um, so we just came up with some wild designs and it just was off and running. A lot of vibrant colors for sure. Dively mentioned she'd like to make more rocking sunfish in the future. In the meantime, a contest is being held to name this fish. And that contest will start Friday and last for two weeks. And the winner of the naming contest will get a $100 grand prize. To submit a name officially into the contest, there will be a QR code you can scan on our website. Good day to take in the rocking sunfish near Great River Landing because it's a quintessential summer day. Here we are at the end of August. Bill's got the latest. Bill? Yeah, absolutely beautiful day today. Tomorrow's not going to be bad either, but then things start to warm up on Friday and then it gets downright hot again by the holiday weekend. All right, before we get to our forecast, a quick check on Idalia uh, back down to a tropical storm. So that's good news, but it did come on shore earlier this morning as a powerful Category 3 hurricane. First time the Big Bend of Florida has seen a major hurricane of uh, Category 3 strength or stronger. 125 mile per hour wind, so that is actually close to a Category 4. Now the main threat, I think, is heavy rain, 6 inches plus for parts of the Carolinas. Uh, but again, still some gusty winds, a little bit of storm surge with that uh, flow coming off the Atlantic as well. All right, outlet report for today and tomorrow. High symptoms across the board for weeds, ragweed, and mold spores. Allergy Associates tells me that ragweed pollen season will last a couple more weeks across the region. Skies are sunny. Uh, boy, it was hard to pick out a cloud anywhere today. 78 was the high, 54 the low, so pleasant numbers, slightly below that average high of 81. And we continue to be very dry, 1.38 inches for the month of August. That's almost 2.4 inches below average, and we are 4.71 inches below average for precip for the year. Pair of 78s for the airport and downtown at the station with sunny skies. Dew point very low at 42 and dew points in the 40s in Eau Claire as well where it's sunny and 76 degrees. So pleasant 60s and 70s across the Great Lakes. Some heat out to the west. Uh, current temperatures range from 74 in Viroqua to that 78 uh, here in La Crosse. Dew points very low. Anytime you see dew points in the 40s in the summer months, that is some uh, very pleasant and dry air, and that's going to be the trend overnight tonight. So another windows open night with some free AC with low humidity and pleasant temperatures. A little bit of a breeze from the northeast around 3 to 7 miles per hour. Skies are crystal clear all across Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa. In fact, most of the upper Midwest for that matter, thanks to high pressure 
Unfortunately, this system out to the west will kind of fizzle before it brings any kind of rain chance in our neck of the woods. Maybe an isolated shower over northern Wisconsin, but you can see dry tonight with a lot of that bright moonlight. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. Again, that small chance for a passing shower north of Eau Claire uh, as we head into Friday, but most of us stay dry. Winds kind of pick up Friday. That's going to help warm temperatures well into the 80s. Tomorrow, a little bit warmer than today. Uh, lower 80s for the county, right around 82 in La Crosse. And as you can see, most spots will see highs between about 77 and 82 degrees, which is pretty much right on track for this time of year. Again, the average high in La Crosse is 81. So 53 tonight, clear and comfy. Open up those windows, more free AC, courtesy of Mother Nature with that full moon. 82 tomorrow, breezy and warmer to usher in September 88. And here comes that heat wave, mid to upper 90, Saturday, Sunday, and Labor Day. Could even flirt with triple digits on Sunday and Monday and mainly dry until a slight chance of storms later Tuesday or Tuesday night. And that cools us back into the 80s next Wednesday and Thursday. But uh, boy, September is going to come in hot for sure. Absolutely. Bill, thanks very much. Coming up next in sports, the Brewers looking to make it two out of three over the rival Cubs. Plus, the Packers are already set at the running back position, but a surprise standout during camp made it impossible for the front office to let him go. Rob's got that story next. The Board Store, the best products, best prices, and best people for all home improvements. Contact us today for a prompt free estimate. Our phones keep us constantly connected, but what if they had a mode to help us actually connect? To limit screen time, but not quality time. And to give us rhythm instead of algorithms. Introducing Us Mode. Set your phone for human connection at U.S. Cellular. Get 11% off everything now at Menards. Check out our lighting showroom and update your home's exterior. Patriot Lighting is available in so many unique styles and finishes, you're sure to find a look that's right for you. With more than 300 stock lights priced under $100. Pick up this Treehouse Outdoor Wall Light for $21.97 after 11% rebate. Visit our lighting showroom or check out all our lighting options on Menards.com. Save big money at Menards. Action. Get up to 60% off list prices on hundreds of items at the huge Labor Day sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible deals. This awesome reclining sectional comes with a free recliner. Or this five-piece dining set for $3.99. This soft gray sofa with a free matching chair, both for $4.88. How about a Lazy Boy recliner as low as $3.98? Plus new 24-month no interest financing. Up to 60% off at the huge Labor Day sale at Slumberland Furniture. Do not miss this one. If you're shopping for a vehicle and wonder what website has local vehicles listed, check out findcars.com. Because findcars.com is locally based, you'll find thousands of vehicles listed from local dealers and private sellers all over the area. Plus, it's so easy to use. Simply choose the vehicle you're looking for, and findcars.com will show you who has what you're looking for locally and beyond. Findcars.com. Local shopping made easy. Findcars.com. Click it. Okay, guys, we're all here because U.S. Cellular has an incredible deal. Right now, you can get four lines with unlimited data for just $90 total. On top of that, you also get four free phones. Four free phones. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now Sports. In just 11 days, the Packers will kick off the regular season in Chicago against their biggest Rival and for the green and gold, their 53 man roster is now official and one of the most satisfying and uplifting stories to come out of this year's camp regarding the Packers roster is the man who could potentially get some carries behind Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon. Talk about defying the odds. Emmanuel Wilson did just that during camp and the former HBCU football star makes the cut in Green Bay. Packers saw what they needed to see from Wilson in camp. And how about these numbers? In the first preseason game of the year, Wilson broke out for 111 yards on six carries, including this 80-yard touchdown. Wilson led the NFL in rushing during the preseason. For the Packers GM, the decision to keep Wilson on the roster was a no-brainer. He did some things as a runner that we kind of saw in college, but uh, you never know how quickly those guys are going to be able to show that in the National Football League. But uh, I think he took advantage of his opportunities. Again, he's a 225-pound back. Um, I really like that room, So, um, but um, he, uh, he certainly earned it. 
Sure did. Brewers trying to take the series in Chicago. Cubs up two in the third, but here come the crew. Willie Contreras lines one down the right field line. Christian Yelich races home from second. Deficit cut in half. It's 2-1. Then in the eighth, Mark Hanna gets drilled. Painful RBI, but that ties the game at two. Brewers fans loving it, but they wouldn't be happy for long. Bottom eight, Cody Bellinger lines one off the foot of Yoel Piomps. Bellinger beats it out at first. Cubs jump back in front. They make it two out of three over Milwaukee as they win the rubber game 3-2. The final Brewers still lead the division by three games. Rubber game for the Twins and Guardians this afternoon. Pick it up in the fifth. No score, but Jorge Polanco delivers with the bases loaded. Two-run single. It's going to put Minnesota up 2-0. Same score now in the eighth, but the Guardians battling back. This base hit is going to cut that deficit in half. Makes it 2-1. to one. Twins just one strike away in the ninth from securing the win, but this goes to the backstop, and that's going to tie the game at two. And then Cleveland is going to blow it open in the tenth. Two on for Cole Calhoun. Goodbye. Calhoun crushes one into the second deck. Guardians make it two out of three. They get the win, five to two. That is a painful loss. Just one, yeah. one pitch away from getting the win. I know. A rough day for both of our, our teams in the yep. area. But How about Wilson? Great That's story. Huge. Fantastic story. Yeah, especially with such a loaded room to make the cut. Yeah. I mean, but he did. He, I mean, he deserved it. A great preseason. Led the NFL. And, I mean, I know it's just a preseason, but yeah. did what he had to do. Absolutely. Yep. He, he had that second level speed. Sure did. Showed it in that first game. Yep. All right, Rob, thanks very much. You got it. We will have one more check of your forecast right after this. Stories are told on our Instagram at WKBT News 8. Or you can always find us at news8000.com. Now for a limited time at Home Furniture, you can get a king-sized bedroom suite for the price of a queen. Like this king bedroom suite now just $16.99. Plus, get free shipping on purchases of $4.99 or more. King comfort, queen price at Home Furniture. How do plastic bottles turn into this? WM and Reprieve have given new life to over 20 billion plastic bottles. And we're just getting started. See how recycling is one of the many ways WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at WM.com slash stories. The new 2023 GMC Sierra AT4X is equipped to conquer the great outdoors or the great indoors. Welcome to the peak of premium off-roading. Or get 0.9% APR on 2023 Sierra Denali 5.3 liter V8 light duty models. Plus, get 2,500 purchase allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Visit your best choice GMC dealer today. For a limited time at Home Sleep Express, get a king-size mattress for the price of a queen. This total comfort king mattress is now just $5.99. Plus, get free shipping when you spend $4.99 or more. King for the price of a queen at Home Sleep Express. Comfortable nights, lows in the 40s to lower 50s, right around 53 in the cross. Bright moonlight from that full blue moon. 82 tomorrow, upper 80s on Friday. Heat wave by the weekend, highs in the 90s. All right, Rob and Ken, other blue moons, what, what do you pick? Ice cream, beer, or the song? What do you think? I think I'd go ice cream there. I'm How about you? ice cream guy, man. Yeah. Oh, it's been tough. I've been on a pretty, pretty <laughs> yeah. you have been strict, strict diet. Yeah. I miss my I miss milkshakes. Big, I mean that's mm, my big thing. I'm okay. a big milkshake guy. When's the next cheat day? Will you actually get to take advantage? I don't know. Maybe it'll Find be this out. weekend. Maybe Find I'll get out it at in. 10. We'll see you then. <laughs>